Big shout out to Alicia Bumgardner, who became undisputed um, last night at one of those lower weight divisions in female boxing. She was on the undercard to Amanda Serrano versus, uh, what was this girl's name? Erica Cruz, uh, who they were also fighting for an undisputed um, championship. And two great, great, great fights. Before we get into it, let's send out our blessings. Blessed love and blessed day. Well, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. As I said, Alicia Bumgarner. She defeats, um, who this girl's name? Elham McHaled in a very good and entertaining fight. Um, I was very pleased um, by this fight. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest um, fan of, of, of women boxing, but... I'm a fan of boxing, so where there is good boxing, um, I am a fan of. And I want to congratulate all these ladies, and no disrespect to any female fighters. Um, the reason why I didn't like, um, I wasn't really into female boxing, and there's a lot of guys who like boxing and they're not really into um, female boxing, women as well. It's just because it looked different from what you're watching against the men. Um, you know, not as much skill, looks kind of looked kind of sloppy, kind of amorish, but it all makes sense and it's all for a reason because with women there's not as many um women boxers so the talent pool is not as high the competition pool is not as high so the experience levels are not as high um when we start to watch them and i feel like this is all changing because more women um are getting into are getting into boxing more opportunities so now we have more amateur women and we have more um women in the club levels um you know just more women entering the sport so with that becomes um a higher uh talent pool a higher a higher competition pool and more opportunities to gain more experience before they get on tv and we start watching him and with all the fights the two fights last night alicia bumgardner against elham uh, mccullough very good fight very good skills um and like i said no disrespect to any females um this is actually shouting out the females because they're getting better their skills are getting better the more you watching these women you're, you're you're watching them and they're looking like um men doing this you know what i'm saying and not in a disrespectful way they're looking good some of them are real pretty and real sexy and real attractive and they're not lesbians you know what i'm saying or dykes excuse my language and they're getting a the job done you know what i'm saying alicia bumgardner came out you know she's come out in her little lingerie and the other girl from um from australia who does ebony bridges who does her little lingerie skit so it's a good look and i and i said this when i covered that fight it's a good look for these women to be entering boxing and still showing that they have a feminine side and they have a sweet side um in such a brutal sport but um great fight between um I keep having to look down at her name between Elham McCollard and um, Bum Gardner. You know what I'm saying? Great fight. This girl had a high guard. Very nice, long one tool. She's coming forward with nice, long one tools. I'm always fans of fighters who have nice, long one tools and they extend and they stretch. And, um, you know, Bum Gardner's. You know she's 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 blocking she's doing her thing she's catching punches landing some real nice combinations very 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 good boxer <laughs> and um you know why she's a good boxer because you know tony harrison is is you know what i mean tony harrison's her trainer so that guy is an elite um boxer so it's no you know it's no wonder why she's such a good boxer and the things that she's doing in there um, I will say she should work on her stamina a little bit because she faded against um, Kayla Mayer um, in that fight. And she faded a little bit in this fight, but she did talk about yesterday was her first day, you know, on her period. And some people said, oh, you know, it's TMI. But again, me being a trainer and, and I train um, females and I have females that get really, really, really bad periods and they can't even come to the gym for like a week. You know what I'm saying? Some of them be in the ER. So this is another you know another you know thing that we got to give credit to the females you know what i'm saying some of these ladies are on their monthly their menstrual and they still got to come perform um and she came and performed the only thing that i didn't like is sometimes pulling out like i said this girl had really long one twos sometimes um pulling out in her pivot she will get caught with a nice right hand um over the top because this girl had nice long one twos and alicia bumgarner may have thought she was out of range sometime you know but wasn't quite out of range she's getting clipped with that um, good clean right hand over the top she hurt um 
I keep having to look down at her name. She hurt Mel. I mean, we, we just we just gonna call her. We just gonna call her um, Mech. She she hurt Mech. Um, I think it was in the third round. Caught her with a nice, clean, straight right hand down the pipe off of a counter. Um, dropped her. I believe she dropped her twice in the fight. But this girl was game. Um, put up a really good, really, really good fight. And um, Alicia Bungarner came out on top with a master class. Um, you know, boxing. I wouldn't say it was a box, boxing clinic, but just master class boxing. And, um, you know, really, really, really nice to watch. Um, you know, shout out to both of those ladies. They did their thing. Shout out to Alicia Bumgarner for becoming um, undisputed. She said she 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 she's she's going back for Michaela Mayer. So um, you know, Michaela Mayer will get a shot at undisputed. And women's boxing is turning up, and I like it. And you guys should too. You guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comments section. Um, I know I said undisputed at one of the weight classes, but I'm not good at keeping track of the lower weight classes with the men boxing. And with the women, it, it seems, I, I, I don't know, because there's, there's like less pounds that separate the weight classes. It's like um, Bum Gardner, uh, Amanda Serrano, and Katie Taylor, like they all undisputed champions uh, at like, I don't fucking know, 22, 26, 30, <laughs> I don't know. But shout out to all those ladies. Um, I'm going to be back with my, with my um, post-fight thoughts on Amanda Serrano versus Erica Cruz. I mean, Erica Cruz was like a, the female version of Pitbull Cruz, but, um, you know, slightly different. But you guys tell me what y'all think about um, these fights in the comment section. Shout out to Eddie Hearn. Shout out to The Zone for putting this card on last night because it was great. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Both fights, I really enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, maybe on the channel of Real Life Boxing, we'll see more um, covering of women boxing you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section until then keep fighting your fight protect yourself at all times peace and one love it's coach fight this is real life boxing